Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do a product demo with you guys and I'm super excited. So what today's video is going to be is a demo and review of the Aesthetica Cosmetics Contour Kit and so I'm really excited to share this with you guys. It's definitely a cheaper option than some other contour kits. So if you're interested in watching a little bit more, please stay tuned. So this palette I actually got off Amazon.ca and I've seen some other gurus have mentioned it in their videos. I feel like though they were kind of like sponsored videos and they didn't actually give a review on this. I had asked a few of them, you know, they were like, anything you want reviewed in this video and I had wrote to a few of them in the comments and put I'd love to see some looks with this palette could you please do some but it was never mentioned again I did see it too on Jam Beauty 89's um she was doing like a makeup declutter and I did see she mentioned this and after I saw like the little bit she did say about it I was really intrigued because I had been looking at it and then I was like okay I'm gonna take the plunge and grab this so I have seen for you guys in the States, they do have like Groupon rates for this and it's like $20. I paid $30 for this. So when you take a look inside, it looks exactly like the Anastasia Beverly Hills contour palette. I don't own that, but um, it's something I kind of wanted to own, but I don't think I'm going to need to now that I have this. So it has a mirror. And then it comes with six different shades. So there's the highlighter shades right here and the banana powdery shade here. And then some bronzers and contours. So like they seem very pigmented. So I'll just swatch this one on my hands. Um, so actually this one, you can't even see it. So that one might not be the best quality. Actually, when I was highlighting, I wasn't completely crazy about the highlighters in this. I basically got it for kind of these three, but like this one just didn't show up when I tried to swatch it for you guys. And so I'm just going to do the banana powdery color now. So I don't know if you guys can see, it's still really like light. So that's not swatching that great. Let's try the last highlighter. Hopefully we'll have some luck with that so I can show you guys. Um, it's not a really sparkly highlighter so I don't know if you can see a little bit there. It kind of just blends right into my skin. Um, I am a little bit darker skin so I don't know maybe if you're a little bit more paler than me if you know you would have better results. Um, but I like I said I kind of got it for the bottom three so and it was only $30 so you know it wasn't a lot of money wasted but I'm not crazy about these and my favorite color to contour with is this one because it's really gray toned and that's what you should be using to contour your face not you know a bronzer or something red toned because it's just you're going to look like a cake face and that's not the look that, you know, Kevin Aquan had started with contouring. So I always recommend a gray tone. So um, what I thought I would do is I would just do a demo for you guys. So I actually have, um, I'm going to start now. So I do always, since I have such dark circles, I do cover them, but it's not enough, so I always start with um, my cream concealer. And I always recommend doing a little triangle. What I'm using is this NYX HD concealer. And I believe the color I have is glowing. And I really like this. I've heard it's very comparable to the NARS and the Urban Decay concealers. Never tried those. I'm a little cheap, but I've heard really good things about this. So I heard it's very comparable. So I do use my Sonia Kashuk brush to blend, baby, blend this. 
into is I don't, to be honest, I'm not really into like, this is like a daily contour look. I'm not going to be doing something, you know, very dramatic for a night out. Um, I can do one of those looks if you'd like. But this is, you know, just to give you a little bit of a chisel in your day-to-day. -day. So I find that the brush sometimes isn't enough. Um, so I do like to go in with my fake beauty blender which has lasted me forever I actually have a real beauty blender but I haven't bothered to use it because this $10 one is amazing okay so I've blended it in so what I'm gonna use is this banana powdery color in the middle and I'm gonna use this brush I got in my ipsy it's from Luxie brushes and I like how it's angled so just gonna make sure I get enough product the good thing about this palette is there isn't a lot of fallout it's actually kind of hard I find to get a lot of um, pigment so as you guys can see it's not looking bad on my face right now Little brush makes it a lot easier to do okay so the next step is I'm gonna take this brush I got from Sonia Kashik and I'm gonna start the actual contouring process so I'm gonna use that color I said the gray tone one this is basically too kind of why I bought this palette apparently it is really similar to the Kevin Aquan sculpting powder so that's really expensive I'd like to have that but you know if you can get a cheaper kind of option why not make sure it's blended very well now as you can see the gray looks a lot better than um than like a bronzer I used to do that but I've watched all kinds of videos and learned from some of my favorite gurus, so. Props to Carly. She's the one who, you know, introduced me to gray, so. Okay, so we're blended here. And also I like to do, my nose is a little bit bigger, so I like to do like in the corners here. I love about contouring if you do have you know some bigger features that you don't want to look so big um, contouring will definitely help with that and the last area I do contour is up on my forehead so I'd recommend taking a look at like a face chart to see what would be the best because depending on the shape of your face that's how you should contour I have kind of an ovally face so I've you know read some charts charts where I we should do around here and then and I'm just blending my life away sometimes I do like to do a little bit here on the jawline just make sure though it's blended really good one time I went out and it wasn't blended great and I had some people make fun of me so that also happens when you have some bad lighting in your room so, feeling, you know, chiseled a little bit more, like my face is actually on. So as you guys can probably see, I look a little bit more sharper, a little bit more defined. So the final step is we're gonna try the highlighters. So we're gonna use this end color because this first color, color it just ain't happening. Mm -mm. So, I usually like to use like I have this NYX palette it's from that Johnny Depp movie I can't even remember I really like the highlighter in that or I really like my Lorac or Laura Mercier highlighter but we'll try this so when I do highlight I do like to do kind of like a C I know I just like brawn contoured this but I do like to do like a C kind of motion I find that's what looks best for me. I kind of like a liquid highlighter. 
I don't know. I haven't really went into cream contouring yet. I want that kit, but of course shipping to Canada is a bit of a highway robbery, so I wish, you know, they had a little bit more options for their Canadian fans. I went halfers with somebody for shipping on the liquid lipsticks, and that was quite expensive. So I do like to dab a little bit of highlighter on the tip of my nose. Okay, so my skin feels a lot better and more chiseled now. So I'm not sure if you guys noticed kind of a bigger, if you guys noticed, I feel like I need to blend this a little bit better and I don't have a big brush down here with me. Um, but this is the look with this Aesthetica palette. I don't know what the Anastasia palette's like. Please let me know down below because I really don't have anything to compare this to. But for the price of it, I'm not blown away, but I'm not, you know, in love with it. I think I prefer kind of just doing my own thing with, I use the e.l.f. Uh, banana powder and I have some bronzers. Um, the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil, that always gives me a nice contour and some other highlighters. So if you guys are interested in maybe my contour routine without a contour kit, please let me know. And for all of you out there, you don't need a contour kit to contour. A lot of people, you know, think that it's harder, you know, to find things. But, you know, check online, watch videos. You don't need one of these palettes. But... You know, this wasn't too bad, like I said, for the money. And I'll probably use it all. I probably won't buy any refills. I might try cream contouring yet. I'm not really sure. So if you've tried this palette, please let me know too. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. I'm trying to get to my goal of 100 subscribers for now. And then I'm going to have a great giveaway for you guys. So make sure that you do watch. So I hope you enjoyed this video and it was a little informative for you. So if you did like it, like I said, subscribe and thumbs up the video and I can't wait to hear your thoughts. Thank you for watching.